Welcome Pisces. Oh, 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 Pisces. All right, Pisces, my darlings. Welcome each and every one. This is um, the Taurus season. The Taurus season begins from April 20th till May 20th. I want to say thank you for being here. This Taurus season has to do with the second house. The second house is your um, um, finance, uh, uh, money, and wealth. All right, there is no question about the spices you are about to pick up and begin. So we have the energy of nine of uh, caps. This is your, the second week is going to be a really, really positive week. Um, the second week and the last week uh, is going to be your sweetest week, second week and the last week. These weeks, if you notice, you have your own energy. The nine of caps and the ace of pentacles. So a lot of you... Um, Pisces is going to be creating your own financial stability, okay? So whether you are in service by someone or you are a self-employed or you are a freelancer, welcome to the world. Your wealth is going to be good in this year. Um, this is what I was saying to a lot of you. Go back and look at the year reading. The year reading was showing us up that a lot of you Pisces in this coming year is going to be a blast, Okay. So, a wonderful, wonderful um, reading for you, Pisces. Um, you know, you just finished your Pisces season and you're now recognizing each season has something to do with one of your houses. And um, this is what a lot of people do not understand. And these readings are only for people who are entrepreneur, business people, um, self-employed or freelancer, or in, in, in some sort of a service or deans where you're being paid. Um, if you're looking for a private reading, you have to go on the other. This is all about business, finance, career, um, uh, money. Okay. So what we're seeing here is a wonderful. There was some sort of a conflict that some of you had in the week of April 28th till April 26th. And whatever the conflict is, um, it was as if people were trying to, um, create some sort of a competition, okay? But you Pisces were like, back away. You Pisces just back away from the conflicts, the competition. It's as if you recognize and you were looking through the veil of and watching people and recognizing that people were only creating competition and chaos. So, so in this week, you had the energy of the five of ones, um, Saturn and Leo. And a lot of you Pisces were dealing with some sort of an issue um, that a Leo was trying to create here. If it's not a Leo, it was people who were trying to create some sort of a competition. And you stood your grounds and uh, balanced out the situation by bringing in Saturn. And Saturn um, is the planet of the 10th house. And Saturn is where um, discipline, discipline in corporation institutions. So a lot of you Pisces could have been managers, supervisors um, in your business where people were you know, taking your goods, not paying on time, that sort of a thing. And you're pulling it up and saying, hey, if you don't pay on time, then you're going to be getting a fee, that sort of a thing. It could be also a situation where some of you um, people were taking advantage of you and you are pulling this back. OK, so you recognize this and a lot of you Pisces are going to be pulling back and kind of standing your ground towards whatsoever that is coming up and whatever you have to deal with um, because there is a lot of competition that has been happening and transpired. So you guys are going to be recognizing what was transpiring. So this is going to be good for a lot of you. There is no question about it. Um, you are going to be recognizing um, that people created a whole lot of chaos around you, Pisces, and you're going to be recognizing that and bringing this back in balance. Then when we look at the second week, the week of the 27th of April until the 3rd of May, it's going to be an absolutely fabulous week. It's Jupiter in Pisces. So the second week, Pisces, there's nothing that you can do wrong in this week. If you want to apply for any um, position, it is the right week. If you want to start a new business, if you want to, um, anything that um, you were hoping and wishing for, um, this is a week where you can 
um, use the energy in order to incorporate. And this is going to be good. So it is a really aligning energy, a really positive um, week. There's nothing that can go wrong in this week. This is a week that a lot of you, whatever you start, whatever business situation that is going to be transpiring, whatever affirmation of what was going to be happening is going to be a week of foundation. As you see this cup um, in the middle, with four, with eight cups at the bottom and at the top is as if uh, your guiding angels are going to be granting you some sort of a, a wish that you were open for. And this is going to be exhilarating and bringing in uh, some wonderful, unexpected um, experience for you where you're going to be changing the roots of fate, uh, changing uh, your career field, moving forward. And anything that some of you start in this week is going to be a huge success in the future. So congratulations. Then we are looking at the third week. The third week is from May 4th until May 11th. We have the energy of the Two of Swords. Some information, news is going to be coming out. People are now going to be recognizing um, something that they weren't seeing. The moon in Libra. A lot of people are going to be recognizing that um, some sort of a secrecy was held and it has to do with some sort of a communication that um, there was um, communication. It's as if the um, telephone conversation or emails are going to be checked, uh, texts. And um, through that, a lot of you Pisces is going to be winning something because they're going to be recognizing that a liberal has been playing a game, okay? They're going to be um, really slowly recognizing that whoever a liberal is uh, has been uh, created by, um, they're going to be receiving some sort of a, a, a information where they have data and information about a liberal and they're recognizing and seeing the truth of who this liberal is by looking at their work, okay? So it could be that, Someone is going to be shattering this Libran in order to find out what this Libran have been doing. And it could be you as a manager is recognizing, hey, um, this person is, is not putting out as much work uh, that I need. But for some of you, Pisces, it's going to be um, some sort of a data information is going to be revealed over a Libran. And they're going to be recognizing what a Libran, the secret of a Libran and the Libran has a, a whole lot of secrets uh, that they were keeping. So it's as if this Libran, whoever this Libran is and whatever was transpiring, had some sort of something up their sleeves, whether, uh, you know, working against you or, but it's not something that you were aware. There could be also recognizing that a Libran has stolen a lot of money. This could be a situation where um, a lot of money was missing and they're going to be finding out the truth as to what has been transpired. So a lot of you could be released out of some sort of a situation because whoever this Libran is, whether it's a business partner, whether it's a co-worker, whether it's a team, a, um, a team person, and some sort of a, a communication that this person had communicate is going to be helping some of you Pisces in order to get out of uh, some uh, unforeseen um, position that you were in because it's basically that you're now going to be recognizing that a Libran was a big player in an issue and a problem that a Libran has a, a huge play in some sort of a problem um, and this was kind of blocking your career moving up the, the career ladder and now it's going to be all coming out. So be aware of this. As we look at the last and final week, the last and final week has to do with um, money is going to be coming in. So this is going to be good. So this last and final week is from May 11th until May 20th. And congratulations to all of you because what is happening and transpiring is that uh, um, you're uh, future is going to be bright. Your future financial stability is going to be here. And when we speak about financial stability, we speak about the people who have just started a job. 
is going to be keeping this job. We're talking about the people who have just started some sort of a new uh, um, entrepreneurship, okay? It is going to be a success. Well, we're talking about the people who have moved from one freelance job to another, one project to another, because you're going to be creating uh, your wealth and financial stability in this year. And this is a really, really powerful for you, Pisces, because um, your second house is really looking good. Because once money shows up in your second house, and especially at the end where this money is coming in, and a lot of you are going to be holding it in your hands. It's not as if, you know, this money is just going to be passing through your hand. No, a lot of you are going to be holding this money. So financial stability is going to be good because it's as if you were fighting and having struggles to, um, you know, sustain your position at your workplace. And now it is like you uh, could have changed jobs and it is just going with the flow. It is just that you are now at the point where you are financially stable and you're coming in and bringing in and having money. And it's not as if uh, the money is uh, losing, you're leaving or the money is walking away from you. No, it's, it's as if you're bringing in uh, the stability, you're bringing in money. And this is why I say to a lot of you, these readings, ladies and gentlemen, or timeless, whenever you have an inkling, because this is all for business career, people who are self-employed, that, you know, you, you have some sort of an inkling about your business, what direction to go, what, whatever business um, decision you need to make financially. Um, the week of, uh, um, uh, April 27th until May 3rd is good. And the week of uh, May 11th until, um, May, May 20th is going to be uh, extremely, extremely good. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Please remember, use the link below in order to choose any of these crystals. You, If you want to look at all the crystals, it is good um, because it's what your own um, person is pushing towards you. But I always say, look, choose one of the crystal, but you, uh, not crystal, a uh, symbol, but you can choose any one of these symbols. I do love you guys. I got to go. But Pisces, this is going to be a good second house for the year 2021. Money is going to be good. I do love you guys. Namaste. Until next time.